Good morning, Low Country, and welcome to another episode of Palmetto Life on this Tuesday. I'm your host, Emily Zuhowski. You may realize that some of the fresh greens on your plate at local restaurants are actually being grown out of a shipping container. One of the restaurants that uses King Tide Farms artisanal greens is downtown French Hotspot. 39 Rue de Jean, which is home to South Carolina's chef ambassador Marcus Shell. We dive into how the hyper local produce lands on your dinner plate. Hey, I'm Marcus Shell, executive chef of 39 Rue de Jean, 2023 chef ambassador. Hey, I'm Hamilton Horn, owner and operator of King Tide Farms, and I get to work with this guy. <laughs> Lucky man. Hamilton popped up on my social media and I had heard some things about what he was doing. So when I was tasked with the honor of being South Carolina chef ambassador and I was diving into local agriculture and trying to find people to work with, he was a natural choice. Um, I was really intrigued by the things that he does, how you can make flavorful things in such small packages. We specialize in growing things in a hydroponic setup. It's a 40-foot shipping container out at the Firefly Distillery in Park Circle. And what we can really do is we can work with the chefs uh, directly um, when they have specific menu or dish needs. We can supply them with that exact product that they're looking for. And, and sometimes that product's very hard and difficult for them to find in this area, or it, it uh, spends a lot of time traveling to get here and can be quite expensive. So we like to be able to offer these unique uh, products and very specific products to these chefs as we're seeing our culinary market change and kind of demand these, these higher end things um, for these special events that these guys are doing and killing it with. Chefs are naturally like demanding and like I'm needy. Yeah. You know, like I want very specific things in the funny part is, is I don't even actually always know what those things are. So what Hamilton provides for me is insight on trends, things that he's being creative with, and then that starts a creative flow for me, and we just continue to find ways to work together. When I do specialty events, I typically will call and be like, hey, this is something that I want to try to do. What can you grow me that can complement that? And that's exactly what we're doing for the Best in Bread competition at Bodega. Um, I'll be competing on January 22nd. And my dish and the thing that we're going to kind of go over today is a research and development uh, item that hopefully will win me a sandwich trophy. Yeah, yeah, and that's great, you know, and that's exactly what we're looking for. We know these chefs have a lot on their plate, no pun intended there, but, you know, being an executive chef, you have to handle a lot of things and, and dealing with staffing and issues like that. And so that's where we really, really step in as King Tide Farms and try and be a resource for these guys to provide you with those trends you're talking about, new things, how we can grow these new things, and, and how we can grow those things more of a, in a local setting for you so they don't have to spend so much time in transit. Um, so we are considering ourselves hyper-local, which is really five miles or less to all of our, our major clients here um, in the peninsula and kind of surrounding areas. And, and being able to offer that product so quickly and deliver it to them, it's going to give a higher quality, longer lasting, and a better tasting product. So it just works hand in hand, and we really look forward to, to winning the, bodega, the best of bodega as well. Yeah, I will call him and say, hey, I need this now. And he usually comes through for me. I really enjoy working with Hamilton. Um, he's taught me a lot and he always brings me the best products. And he has grown things for me that he typically doesn't grow. So um, it's, a, it's a mutually beneficial relationship and I think it will continue to grow throughout 2024. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Chef. Today we are playing with some research and development for the Best in Bread sandwich competition at Bodega and potentially a summer salad menu item. What I'm doing for this salad slash sandwich is a champagne and saffron poached shrimp salad. This is what I got. Confetti cilantro, tangerine lace, has these beautiful flowers. They're edible and they also double as a garnish. So perfect, right? Arugula, just for pepper and volume. 
and we're gonna add some of these fun flavors of King Tide microgreens because they might be small, but they pack a big punch. I'll start with the basics, a little bit of arugula. And like I said, arugula is just a big leafy green compared to the micros, I just use it for body. I'm gonna go after this confetti cilantro, right? Shrimp and cilantro. I'm gonna just pull it, pick it off the stems. I wanna leave it as whole as possible. Go after this tangerine lace. King Tide Farm leafy greens, right? I'll throw a little bit of celery in there. A couple of these saffron poached shrimp. We'll go heavy on the shrimp because we're calling it a shrimp salad, right? A little bit of champagne vinegar. Pinch of salt. Here's our truffle oil. It's very easy to overdress a salad, so it's all about having the right amount of everything. We're just gonna add a little bit of this avocado. Are. The King Tide Farm microgreen shrimp salad. Drizzle of cracked black pepper on there. Just give it a little crunch. Continue to grow. No pun intended. <laughs> Put it on a t shirt. Got it. Let us grow. <laughs> Cheers, chef. Cheers. I think this is going to win me a trophy. Mm hmm. <laughs>